Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera to Azalunia. Today, I will present my final year project that is the relationship between organizational commitment and intention to live among employees at factories. My name is Azah Azarin Ahmad and my supervisor is Madam Noshima Binti Anthony and my co-supervisor is the Professor Madia Dr. Chisa Deris. Regarding of COVID-19 that hit the world, it's hard to collect the results. The research objective is to investigate the relationship between organizational commitment and intention to live among employees at factories. The research question for this project are what is the relationship between effective commitment and intention to live among employees at factories? Second, what is the relationship between continuous commitment and intention to live among employees at factories? And the third, what is the relationship between a normative commitment and intention to live among employees at factories? Here is the theoretical framework. My independent variable are effective commitment, continuous commitment, and normative commitment. However, for the dependent variable is intention to live. The framework adapted from Yasmin and Mazuki 2015, entitled Impact of Organizational Commitment on Intention to Quit Among Psychiatric Nurses, evident from Pakistan. For methodology, first is research design. I was used a quantitative methodology. Next is the sampling frame. It is obtained from factory workers. The population of employees are 70 employees for each 5 factories, but only 60 questionnaires have been distributed. For sampling technique, convenient sampling has been used. However, for the sampling size, there is 60 sample size. Factory workers are the unit analysis in this project. I have been used questionnaire from Mayor and Ellen as instrument. For the variety of instruments, the content will be checked by Ponoji Mabiti Anthony, a lecturer from Faculty of Business and Management at University of Technology Malayu at the M Sarawak branch. The grammar will be checked by Professor Maya Dr. Chiza Davis, lecturer from the Academy of Language Studies of at University of Technology Malayu at the M Sarawak branch. All the data of reliability will be obtained from the respondent and it will be analyzed using the statistical package for social science SPSS version 25.0. Last but not least, the pretest had been conducted on several employees at public sector. For finding in demographic data of respondents, the majority is female, 39 respondents equal to 78%. The large amount of respondent age is 36 respondents, which is age between 21 and 30 years, at 30 years old equal to 72%. However, the majority of respondents is single, which is 37 respondents equal to 74%. This research found out that 27 respondents equal to 27% in factories had Sijil Pajal Malaysia as highest education level. Besides that, 28 respondents had worked between 1 until 5 years equal to 58% as length of service. And the majority monthly income was respondent that earned 1,001 ringgit until 2,000 ringgit, which is 47 respondents equal to 94%. The numerical analysis for effective commitment, the screeners is 0 0.977 and courtesis is 1.374. For continuous commitment, 0 0.432 is screeners and 0 0.039 is courtesis. For numerical commitment, the screeners is 0 0.377 and courtesis is 0 0.228. And for attention to leave, Negative 0 0.044 is screeners and negative 0 0.038 is courtesies. Normality test. Continuous commitment has the highest mean which is 3.6167 followed by normative commitment 3.4567. Then effective commitment 3.2667 and intention to leave as 3.2500 mean. For liability analysis, intention to leave has the highest conbash alpha which is 0 0.921 with 6 item followed by continuous commitment which is 0 0.801 with 6 item also. Then effective commitment has 0 0.245 conbax con alpha with 6 item. Lastly, normative commitment 0 0.708 with 5 items only. Now we move to correlation analysis. We can see effective commitment has positive and strong relationship with attention to leave which is 0 0.8. 194. Normative commitment also have positive relationship but not strong which is 0 0.137. Then continuous commitment is 0 0.88. Positive but not strong relationship. Question for research question 1. The study shows that where there was a strong and positive significance between an effective commitment and intention to live. 
However, according to Jim Desa and Ramirez 2015, found that effective commitment is negatively related to turnover attention, which is corroborates previous studies. Next question two, the employees in factories shows positive significance between continent commitment and intention to leave. Tested by Ahmad 2017, continent commitment is an attachment to an organization based on employees' earnings of the cost associated with this continent membership. Lastly, research question 3, findings show that normative commitment has a positive significance with attention to leave, according to a day. Parboti and Bellino 2008, as cited in Mayor and Ellen 1997, pointed out normative commitment also developed on the basis of the psychological contract between employees and their organization. Question: The organizational commitment, which is effective commitment, continuous commitment, and normative commitment, has positive relation on intention to leave. It proves that effective commitment has the highest strength of coercion to stay at factories. Recommendation for organization increase the organizational commitment in the organization for employee and employer benefit. For employee, make sure to have teamwork among college to avoid feel not satisfied. It also can improve normative commitment in organization. For future research, the study should involve the private sector such as cell assistant, promoter and the other workers in private sector for future research, research because the current research more conducted in public sector where most of the government agencies have their policy that make employees feel happy with the job doesn't have retention to leave.